So we all know the average real estate agent age is around 50. So if you're coming in, you're between 18 and say 25, it can be difficult. It can be difficult because there's a limiting belief you set in your head that you are young and that people may not listen to you. So today I'm coming to you with my top five tips that I recommend for young real estate agents. If we have not met already, hi, my name is Karis. I create content in all things real estate, self-development, and South Florida. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and the notification bell so you never miss a video with me. You wanna know my top five tips that I recommend for young real estate agents, just keep on watching. Tip number one is know your market and your craft. Now, when I started in real estate, I was 21 years old. I was new to my market, and I was also new to America in general. So I had three very big disadvantages that you would think someone would have starting in real estate. So what I did was I focused on my craft and I focused on learning the market. Each day I spent a bare minimum of one hour learning the market that I was in, the schools, the neighborhoods, different shopping centers, different areas that were good, areas that weren't the best. I focused on learning that as much as I could. The other hour that I spent mandatory every single day was learning my craft. So this was really delving into different contracts, different types of offers, different contingencies, appraisals, inspections, things like we've talked about before that really the real estate course doesn't teach you. So when you are starting off, and especially when you are young, you wanna be able to know what you're talking about. To so spend minimum at least an hour every day, one hour focusing on your market, ins and outs of your whole city, the place that you're trying to focus on, learn the ins and outs of it, and then at least a minimum hour of your craft. If you focus on learning those two things hand in hand, it's gonna help because if you get put on the spot and people have questions, you're not gonna feel flustered because you know what you're talking about. Tip number two kind of goes off the last one and that is focusing on building your confidence and your communication. So when you are a young real estate agent, it's sometimes easy to be intimidated by the average realtor who is in their 50s and they also have 20, 30 years of experience. Now you have to make sure that's not a limiting belief you set in your head when you start, but making sure when you're focusing on your day-to-day -day activities, build in things to work on your communication, things to work on your confidence, so that when you are in front of, whether it be clients, whether it be other realtors, you're able to be perceived as someone who is confident, knows what they're doing, and knows what they're talking about. So like I said about the first point, know your market, know your craft, but also make sure you're able to talk about it with confidence because people need to be reassured by you as the professional about the choices that they're making. Because this is people's biggest asset that they're gonna have most likely in their life. So they need to have confidence in you. And so you need to be able to portray confidence and good communication skills when you are talking about real estate. Number three is the power of social media. Now, being the age, we are in the era of everything being online. So use the fact of your social media skills, and if you don't have social media skills, get on it, and use that to your advantage. The thing is, is that realtors who are 40, 50, 60, they didn't get brought up on using social media. So when they're trying to use things, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, they may not be up to date and up to speed with everything that's going on. So utilize the fact and your knowledge of social media. Be on all the platforms, focus on building that up and utilize it as much as possible by staying on top of all of the algorithms, staying up to date with what's going on. So once again, when you speak to a potential client, you speak to leads, you're able to utilize that as a benefit of hiring a younger realtor because you know the ins and outs of social media. Older people might not. Tip number four is finding a mentor. Mentors and coaches are gonna be something that you need no matter what stage you're at in life. The big athletes will always have coaches. The big entrepreneurs will always have mentors because it's important to have people around you who help raise you up to their level. In terms of having a mentor when you are in real estate, it's a great thing because you have someone that you're able to bounce ideas off of if you have questions about things. The fact is, 
We've said it many times before. The things you learn in a course isn't anything on how to actually run a real estate business. So when you come into the real world and you go into the industry, having someone that you're maybe able to shadow, you may be able to walk through contracts with, you're able to role play with, it's gonna be so important starting out because there's so much that you need to learn. So find a mentor, find someone that you look up to, that you are able to utilize and go to for questions, go to for help, go to for ideas, and you will drastically help decrease that learning curve. Tip number five is outwork everybody else. When you're young, if you don't have kids, if you aren't married, if you don't have big responsibilities to take your time away, utilize that. Some people may not agree with this tip. They may say, yes, have boundaries and you need to set schedule and everything. For me, I'm a big believer in you work your ass off and you hustle hard. So I actually would say to people, potential clients, leads, I'm a 24 seven realtor. I don't have kids and you know, if, I, if you need me, I'm there. I go above and beyond for my clients. Yes, okay, I wasn't answering phone calls at three o'clock in the morning. However, people knew if they needed me, I was there because I work harder than everybody else. And that brought me so many referrals because people knew if they had questions, if they needed me to go somewhere, if they needed me to be at the house, if they needed me to go and fill in for something, I was able to provide that in my service. If you haven't heard already, many real estate agents suck at answering the phone. They suck at communication and they do not pick up their phone when they need to. That's where you are able to outwork everybody else. So if you are young and you are starting out, utilize the fact that you're gonna be there for your clients when they need it. Yes, okay, as you build up, as you gain experience, as you develop your business, yes, you can set more boundaries, you can set more time limits that you're able to talk to people. But when you're starting out, when you're trying to work hard to get your business, why not outwork everybody else? If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss a video with me. All right, I'll see you in the next one.